everybody, it's Kara, and I have my Altered Book project done. If you guys have been watching the videos, then you know that this is part four in my little series. I showed you guys how I prepped the book and got it kind of ready to go and, and how I got all of my supplies ready. In this last one, I'm going to show you how the book turned out and what I did to the inside. I kept it very simple, so not really something that requires a tutorial. I'll kind of be able to show you what I did. I obviously decided to not do anything to the cover. I thought that it was just simple and cute and really sweet for a little boy, so I didn't touch it. I was contemplating lots of different things and finally just decided it was just too cute and too vintage looking to mess with. And it ended up not being that thick, but it is thick enough to where if my friend wants to stick it on a shelf so that it's also decorative, uh, it'll stand up on its own. So I think it's pretty cute the way it is, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of how it turned out. So on the inside front page, this is just a piece of paper I'm going to use to show you where I, you can tuck things in here. On this first page, I figured that she could put a couple pictures of the family before the baby was born. So that would be her, her husband, and her two boys, their two boys. And under here, this little date tag, if it wants to cooperate, you can actually slide the picture like so and have it stay in there like that. And then this is just some thickers that I actually bought for this project because believe it or not, I didn't own any. And again, this paper is from Echo Park. I think it's a bundle of joy, the boy version, if I remember correctly. Then this next page, I thought because of this little title on the page just before we begin, that it would be really cute to take a picture of her when she was about nine months pregnant, right before they begin with the new baby, and tuck it in here. And down here they could put the date, and they have nine months in this little picture down here. And I just think that might be a really cute little page. So again, they'd have a little record of what everybody looked like before the baby uh, arrives. And then on this page, this would be the first one showing that the baby um, was born. I matted this for a little picture. And then this is the title of the book, When We Were Very Young. This is a journaling spot from the collection. We are so excited to welcome our newest edition. And this is actually just a little uh, bag or pocket, whatever you want to call it. I thought that they could put that little uh, bracelet that the baby wears in the hospital. They could tuck it in here and then seal it if they wanted to. So that's always an option. And of course, they can do whatever they want with the book. I just needed a plan when I was putting it together so it wasn't you know, jumbled mess when I was all done. So here's the next page. This one has got a place for the weight and length of the baby. And again, this will let the picture slide underneath if they want to do it that way. A little spot up here for the date. You'll see on some of these pages, I did the paper like this where it wasn't exactly centered. So if they want to do the picture a little off to the side, they can do it like that so that the pattern paper will still show. I'm not sure if I said this already, but I kind of looked at this like a junk journal and I put it together that way. That's what helped me kind of plan it all out. So this is the start of the first official section of all of the kind of hospital pictures. So next we have a page that I have the really cute paper on, a sticker down here, that's my boy, also from the Echo Park set. Tell me a story, this little journaling card, congratulations on your new arrival. And then the next page, twinkle twinkle little star, you're our pride and joy. And again, I put in some of these borders in various places and I left the ends open so the pictures could be tucked in here if they wanted to. Okay. And you can see the paint in the background on lots of the pages. This one I looked at as a page for a picture of the brothers because there are two older little boys. So it says brothers right there and buddies down here. Another little pocket with a spot for a note, a little heart doily in the background. And as you can see, I painted or sprayed on just about all of these pages beforehand. I believe that's in part two of the videos. This is another one of the pages for some more pictures. You can see like I uh, was talking about where if they wanted to put the picture a little off-center they could. Down here this should be where they um, have pictures of the grandparents. And since this baby is lucky enough to have two sets of grandparents, there's 
two sets of pages for pictures with them. And I did leave some of the pages blank like this, so if they want to, they can stick a picture here. And if they don't, they can leave it like that. It's up to them. I tried to kind of look at the writing that I was leaving um, open to make sure that it was cute and kind of appropriate. Then we have the section that starts the first three doctor's visits. So we have a little sticker down here that says how many weeks old, a spot for the hospital visit, or sorry, doctor's visit information, and a picture. And then another one, how many months old. Again, a little journaling spot and a picture. And then the third one, how many months old. And then this time I put two little journaling spots up here at the top with one of the Tim Holtz clasps. And then this starts the next um, section of the book, which is the final one. I ended up changing it just slightly. This one is all about um, kind of like baby's first things, uh, first home. So I figured they could put the address or a little bit about the house because they just bought a new house like right before the baby is um, due to be born. And then a picture of the house if they wanted to. This one is the baby's first room. And then I did bath time. A little date spot down there. Like I said again, I did some of these pictures like this, so they could either do a small one if they wanted to mat it, or they could, you know, kind of come up and over. It just depends on how they want to do it. And then this is a general one, so if they wanted to pick a first that they wanted to record, like baby's first tummy time, there's a spot for the picture, journaling. And then this one says, there's always a reason to smile. So I thought a picture of the first smile and maybe a little bit on what made the baby smile, that kind of thing. This is another general one where they can pick something of their own to put here. And this one is two, another little spot for pictures. And then these both come out so they could journal a little story, write something down. This says baby steps up here, so I thought maybe standing up or walking, a couple pictures there. And then um, this one I thought was really cute, this little, I don't know if you want to call it a poem or a little part of the book that goes around along with the baby steps. It just says, where, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That kind of stuff. Little boy blues, you'll see, they'll all come, to, come home to tea, things like that. I just thought it was kind of cute and went with what I was thinking the pages would be for, but of course they can cover it up with a picture if they want to. Then another general page, it says little man up here, and a couple journaling spots, this day in pictures, and another little mat, share that toothy grin, there's a date down here, you know, so I was figuring first tooth or teeth, depending on if they come in at the same time. Another general one with some journaling spots tucked in, and then the back page, which is the after, and the date, which goes with that front cover, the before the baby pictures and the after the baby pictures. So, like I said, nice and simple. And you can see I just did some simple mats. A lot of these things just have a little border um, cut on them. I didn't want it to be too fancy because like I said, it is for a baby boy. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm pretty pleased with it. I hope she likes it. I'm always nervous about making things for people, especially something like this. Um, for whatever reason, when I do like swaps, things like that, I don't get as nervous about that. I don't know why exactly. Maybe because I don't know exactly who it's going to. I'm not sure. But because this is for, you know, someone I specifically know, I see every day because I work with her. She's a good friend. Um, you know, and it's for something that's obviously very important in her life, the you know, birth of her third child. I'm a little bit more nervous about giving it to her. So... Anyway, sorry for the rambling. Hopefully she likes it. If you guys have any questions about anything I did, leave them down below. I will post all four parts all at the same time, which will be sometime tomorrow because the baby showers tomorrow. And if you want any information about anything I did, like I said, just ask me and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, guys, I really, really appreciate you tuning into the videos and watching them and spending your time doing it means a lot to me and I hope that wherever you're at you're having a great day. Bye guys!